What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Blu-ray Bandit, back again with another pawn shop haul video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your best shot at a free digital code. Let's see what I got. All right, I went to three pawn shops. This is the first. Let's see what I got. First up, this was a Cash America. I bought four titles from this pawn shop at a total of $10 out the door, including tax. That brings each of these titles to $2.50 each. Crazy Stupid Love slash Dinner for Schmucks double feature. Uh, I've seen both of these movies. I don't remember much about them. I do enjoy goofy comedies, so I'm probably more excited about Dinner for Schmucks than I am Crazy Stupid Love. Don't own either. I will be adding these to the collection because I want to rewatch them. I'm not sure I'll keep this forever. I'm not even sure exactly how much it's worth on eBay, but I assume when I'm done with it, I will probably resell it. Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gaul. Brand new, unopened. Uh, this is a Zack Snyder movie. He made this movie before he started making the uh, Batman DCEU films. I've never seen this movie. I don't plan on it. I'm not quite sure what this is worth, but I remember scanning it and it at least paid for itself as well as another title. And so I will probably, most likely, almost positively be reselling it on eBay. 10 Cloverfield Lane. I enjoy this film. Uh, I think it's maybe the only good Cloverfield sequel. I mean, there's only two sequels to the original film, but the one on Netflix that I'm forgetting the name of is pretty awful. This one is a decent movie in its own right with slipcase, although this slipcase is like, I understand that slipcases are meant to, you know, basically being a selling item for the shelf itself at stores. But collectors like them, and they like them because it protects. And I, I get what they were trying to do with this, you know? The, kind of the half case, continuing up. I totally get it. But this, this was a bad idea, I would say. Um, but the film itself is great. Uh, ooh. With digital code. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's kind of a single location paranoid thriller last buy at this pawn shop this is cats and dogs the revenge of kitty galore in 3d with a lenticular slip case that is in pretty decent condition i mean there's a couple marks on the edges but as far as slip cases go this one's not bad if you watch my videos, you know that when I see a 3D title on the shelf, I give it the old eBay scan just to see what it's worth. This one pulled up at $17, if memory serves. $16, $17. I don't remember. This one came with a digital copy, but it's one of those digital copies where you have to like stick a disc in a computer and then it gives you the digital copy. So I generally don't remove those from the packages. They're probably expired anyway i just sell it with it's probably useless but yeah i will not be keeping this blu-ray i don't own a 3d tv i don't plan on owning a 3d tv what i plan on doing is selling this copy of cats and dogs the revenge of kitty galore in 3d to pay for all the rest of the blu-rays um the ones i'm going to keep and the ones i'm not so pawn shop number two let's see what's inside this was a La Familia Pawn. I bought five titles here at $12, which brings it down to $2.40 each, including tax. First up, we've got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This is with slipcase. Pretty good slipcase as well. Don't remember exactly what this scanned at, but I don't believe it was much. Maybe three or four dollars, I would guess. Uh, the only reason I bought it is because it's a Tim Burton movie. I've never seen it. I don't know whether it's a worthy film or not, but I do enjoy Tim Burton and I'd like to own all the films that he has released on Blu-ray. And so I picked this one up uh, because it was there in front of me and it came with a digital code, which is awesome. Yeah. So excited to watch the film, uh, but I haven't heard much about it. 
and I it doesn't have much of a legacy past the theater release, so uh, I doubt it'll be great, but I will be adding it to my collection. Own the Moments, three film collection. This one has The Day After Tomorrow, The Happening, and Jumper. Uh, I actually own all three of these movies, but I will be selling my individual copies and replacing them with this on the shelf. Saves shelf space. I don't really need like collector's editions or double disc sets of these three films. I enjoy them as kind of quasi guilty pleasures, but they're not great movies and I don't care if they have like big representation on my shelves, but uh, Blu-rays look nice. Case is in good condition, adding it to the collection. Con Air, starring Nicolas Cage, John Cusick, and John Malkovich. This is a Jerry Bruckheimer film. Love this movie. Talk about a guilty pleasure. This is definitely one of them. Uh, I know you can find this in multi-packs here and there, but the original release with the old case and the the clear case with the double-sided printing is out of print. And so I don't remember exactly what this scanned at, but my plan is to resell it and uh, use the money to pay for the titles that I plan on keeping. Don't Breathe with Slipcase. This is a horror film that came out maybe three or four, maybe five years ago at this point. It's a good horror film. It's about uh, some teenagers or maybe early 20s. They home invade a blind guy's house in order to steal from him and what they didn't know is he's like former special ops and he kind of hunts them down and it's good with digital code. Uh, yeah, don't breathe. If you like horror movies uh, and you want to watch a good one, check it out. Titanic. So I have been hunting for this for quite some time with slipcase. The slipcase definitely isn't in perfect condition. It has some shelf wear, but uh, that doesn't really bother me for sure. Uh, so yeah, Titanic with slipcase. I What can you say about Titanic? Even people who don't like Titanic kind of like it. It's just so long. Uh, I've seen it a few times in my life, and, and I'll probably watch it a few more across my lifetime, but I definitely wanted to own this on Blu-ray. Uh, I rarely see it in pawn shops. In fact, I've never seen it in pawn shop until the day that I picked it up. This is like the, I don't, I don't even know what you, with digital code, I don't know what you'd call this, like the ultra mega edition or something like that, but there are a lot of discs in here. I would guess you actually have to change the disc mid film, which will definitely be annoying, but what can you do? Can't wait to add this one to the collection. I will be holding on to it for as long as my collection exists or until maybe they release a 4K, which I'm sure will happen at some point in time. Titanic, adding it to the collection. Last pawn shop, let's see what's inside. This was a La Familia. I spent $12, including tax, on four titles, which brings them out to about $3 each. If you watch my videos, you know I try to aim for about $2.50 each. But sometimes I can't quite get them there, and I, I get to be a little more picky as the price goes up. So I'm assuming with these titles, I scanned them and made sure I was getting my money's worth, but we'll see how I did. First up, Bruce Almighty. Starring Jim Carrey, a comedy classic. I enjoy this one. Don't love Evan Almighty. The first one was great, for sure. I love Jim Carrey. Don't really remember what this scanned at, but I would guess that it's probably out of print just because uh, they released these in the early days of Blu-ray. And they may have re-released it at some point, but if memory serves, I have seen this on eBay before and it went for roughly 5 or $6, which isn't crazy money, but it's not a price I want to pay, especially when that's normally before shipping. So um, I got it for 3 and I will be adding it to the collection. Gemini Man. So this movie came out maybe last year? I don't remember. It's an Ang Lee movie. It's an action movie starring Will Smith and Will Smith. It's basically normal-aged Will Smith, and then they have a digital double playing his young, the younger version of himself. It's an all right movie. I remember seeing it in the theaters at 60 frames per second, like HDF, I think they call it, or HFR, something like that. I don't remember the abbreviation, but at a high frame rate. And it looked 
amazing in theater. Unfortunately, it's not a great movie. That's for sure. Without digital code, Blu-ray, and the DVD, uh, I'm not sure, quite sure what to do with this. It, I don't remember what it scanned at on eBay. I will probably be reselling it because I did not love this movie. Good chance it'll hit eBay. The Babe, starring John Goodman. I've seen this movie once. I don't remember much about it. But I do enjoy John Goodman, and I also like baseball movies. Which is odd, because I don't really watch baseball. But for some reason, Moneyball, Phenom, Angels in the Outfield, there are a lot of great baseball movies out there. I believe this one is out of print as well, or at least hard to, harder to find than you'd imagine. I don't remember what it scanned at, but I, if memory serves, it was like around 6 or $7. And so I will probably be re-watching it and then deciding whether I keep it. Although I doubt I will keep it because it's probably going to sell for that price and help pay for some titles that I'd rather have on my shelf. And lastly, we've got Bronson, the triple threat collection. This is Death Wish 2, 3, and Death Wish, the crackdown, aka Death Wish 4. I own the original Bronson Death Wish film on Steelbook and wanted to complete the collection. I picked this up because it's three films in one, completing out the original Bronson collection, and it's in one nice, tidy, normal-sized package, so it will look nice on my shelf and not take up too much room. Don't remember what this scanned at. I don't believe it was much, but I do believe it paid for itself at $3. All right, 16 titles, $34, including tax. That's $2.13 each. Couple titles I'm going to sell, a couple titles I'm going to keep. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your best shot at a free digital code. I'm the king of the world. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye.